I always tell the story this way that I almost grew up at Nationwide because uh, I've been with the company for 23 years, which is not the norm these days. Uh, but during those 23 years, I've moved eight or nine times. So I've lived all over the country and I've worked in almost all of the operational components of the company. I am a stickler for return on investment. Um, every when, you, when you're running a business, your operating statement clearly is how you measure your success. And every dollar you invest, you need to understand what exactly do I get from this investment or should I not do this? I really would like to understand how is that gonna benefit the business? Is it gonna help us from a retention of customers? Is it gonna attract new customers? And to what degree can we measure that? We, uh, we made the decision to create a corporate ventures fund about 18 months ago. So we've identified and set aside X amount of dollars, over 100 million, and our plan is to identify startup organizations who are doing things that we believe could add value to us longer term. And the interesting thing is many of these startups, they while they are comfortable accepting capital from us, the country is flush with capital right now. So they really aren't struggling to find people to invest. What they're interested in is an organization that has a brand, that has scale, that has distribution methods, uh, that can deal with the regulatory environment. Our space is heavily regulated. Like many brands, we continue to evolve our media mix. Uh, we continue to move more dollars towards digital and less dollars in national TV. So that's what we're doing on the media side of things. From a creative standpoint, we continue to find great value in our relationship with Peyton Manning. Um, many have asked me over the years, well now that Peyton's no longer in football, what's your decision there? And I said, well, I think it's a perfect transition. He's moving away from his job into retirement, and we are an organization who is focused on helping people prepare for and to live in retirement. And Peyton just represents us and our brand in such an authentic way. At its core, what's the purpose of insurance? At its core, our goal is to help restore lives. It's really a transfer of risk that we take the, the opportunity to, to cover your losses in the event of an unfortunate incident. But when you talk about it that way, consumers don't get it. When you talk about it through the lens of helping to restore lives, it really begins to hit home of what we do. And I genuinely believe that we are a noble industry that plays a huge societal role for the betterment of the communities that we, that we live and work in and really helping them to pull things back together. And we don't talk enough about that. As an industry, uh, it's my belief that we should, we should use our bully pulpits to talk about that more than we do. Uh, because when you, when you rank or consider where do insurance companies or the insurance industry, where does it rank in the spectrum of how consumers view various categories and industries, we're typically not top of mind, we're typically not thought of as for what we genuinely do. Uh, so in my view, it really is ensuring that we're portraying what we really do in the minds of the consumer and helping to restore those lives.